Hello. Let me grab the microphone, huh? That'd be helpful. I'll give you a radical example, however, it's 100% uh, appropriate to what I'm going to talk about in this short little video. What if I said something as ridiculously stupid as 95% of Christianity doesn't believe in Jesus or the assumed teachings ascribed to him? Well, I mean, that would just be radically insane, wouldn't it? It'd just be completely... Well, it'd be, it'd just be so bizarre that you think I just recently escaped from an asylum or something. <laughs> um, and I have no interest whatsoever in religion and politics. One is the uh, flip, filthy side of the other. They're both filthy. And they always involve those with the lowest intellectual capacities. And I'm not talking about empirical knowledge, i.e. episteme, but people that have no common sense. Yeah? Because the most evil people on earth have always been highly intelligent. But what they've fundamentally been, of course, is fools, meaning they have no wisdom. On this particular topic, I have, I actually have three passages here, but I'm just going to use two. One of them is from Encyclopedia Britannica, and uh, the other one is from Merriam-Webster's. There's another one. Yeah. This is reason why you can't trust anybody, unfortunately. All the stuff that we assume, and of course the media are the biggest liars on earth, right next to politicians, but the next biggest liars are people that want to tell you things about something they have no idea they're in. Um, uh, Caroline Augustus Foley Reese Davids, who was uh, co-founder of the Polytech Society, she was also an extremely prolific, the most prolific ancient poly translator. And I'm an ancient poly translator. I've been doing it now for over 20 years. She actually called uh, Western so-called Buddhists uh, and people that write about that topic extremely miserable. There's a long history behind why um, the West is about 99.99% convinced of something regarding something called Buddhism. And the term Buddhism didn't even exist until the 16th century anyway. And uh, it's the reason the Germans, uh, there's actually a book about this uh, written by Govan uh, uh, Pande, and there's another one by Hajimi Nakamura. Western, make it really short, Westerners from England and Germany and a few other places, they traveled down to uh, Sri Lanka, Ceylon. And uh, those yellow robe guys running around, they're Tetawadins. They're not the original article. And anyway, they asked, what are the meanings of these things? What are the principal fundamental tenets, you know, of this uh, teachings. as found in the five Nikayas, by the way. There's no such thing as a Pali canon. Um, the Nikayas are the only pre-sectarian corpus of Buddhism, by the way. The only one. Um, Abhidhamma and Vinaya, there's countless different versions of those, and they came much, much, much later. There's only one version of the Nikayas. Anyway, they were told what these things meant. Anybody with a half a brain would have said, well, that's completely nonsensical. You can't talk about liberation without having a liberant. I mean, somebody, it shocks me every day. I kind of roll my eyes at how, not unintelligent, but how unwise people are. But anyway, I'd like to read you a couple passages uh, about this. You know, kind of like all of Christianity kind of revolves around one principle, Christ. You could say God consubstantiality of God and Jesus, of course, being one thing. This is um, a matter of dogma. But, I mean, essentially we can say that. You know, I'm a Christian. I follow the teachings of Christ. Someone would say, well, the entire axis mundi of uh, that thing that is called Buddhism, actually Gautama himself called it Brahmayana, or Path to the Absolute, in uh, Samyutta Nikaya 5.4, is this one word, and even the Tetawadins, and the Tetawadins are those yellow-robed guys running around Laos, Burma, Ceylon, i.e. Sri Lanka today. They're Tetawadins. They're not original Buddhists at all. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. You know, Jesus didn't teach Catholicism, in other words. It's a perfect example. I mean, Catholicism is a relatively modern invention. It's been around for a long time, but it's certainly not original. You know, to the you know, it has nothing to do specifically with the teachings of Jesus, right? That's the stuff you find in the Bible. You know, any halfway 
uh, intelligent person with a third of their brain working, you know, as well, you know, it's Catholicism, but I'm more interested in what the original stuff says. You know, I'm not really interested in Catholicism. That's just a bunch of religious dogma, which of course it is. It doesn't matter if it's Protestantism, Catholicism, this stuff is not original. It's the same as here. It's 100% parallel. Anyway, all of so-called Buddhism revolves around this word, anatta. And it's completely misconstrued. And everybody believes this. And this is why, it's not my opinion, this is a fact that I've had thousands of emails over the decades from people basically saying this. You know, I investigated Buddhism superficially, but it, I found it completely repulsive to me spiritually and to my core because it said that there was no soul and, you know, it's just ridiculous, you know, and so I kind of threw it in the, in the trash bin and moved on. And I understand their position on this, and so, you know, I investigated a little further, and I came across this person that I don't like, and they're referring to me, you know, abrasive behavior, whatnot, and it's like, wow, this guy's making sense. Everything he says is logical, and it's backed up in doctrine. He has book and verse for everything he says. Wow, this is interesting. I have to investigate further. All this stuff that I read, Online is apparently trash, and of course it is. Anyway, this is from Encyclopedia Britannica, and this one from Miriam Webster. The, the definition of anatta, a basic Buddhist doctrine affirming the non-existence of the soul, or essence, or any other enduring substantial entity underlying any form of phenomenal existence. Well, not only is there no doctrine to back that up, it's illogical and it's insane, yeah, I'll talk about that in just a second. I'm just reading these passages. This is from the Britannica. And we all know how prestigious Encyclopedia Britannica is. But this is parroted throughout 99.9% .9 of the internet. If you type in Anatta or Anatman, the same word. One's in Pali, the other one's in Sanskrit. Anatta, Pali word meaning no self or substanceless, you know, with no substance. Sanskrit, Anatman. Yeah, well, that part is accurate. In Buddhism, the doctrine that there is a... Uh, in humans, no permanent underlying substance that can be called the soul. Instead, the individual is compounded of five factors, Pali Kandas, or Sanskrit Skandas. Now, they say the individual. They're talking about the psychophysical individual, which, of course, is composed of these psychophysical aggregates, so that part is accurate, that one little section, anyway. <clears throat> it's constantly changing. The concept of Anatta, or Anatman, is a departure from the Hindu belief in the Atman. That's completely ludicrous. That's a thousand percent insane. By the way, there's no religion called Hinduism. And Hindu refers to a people, not a religion. There's no such thing as Hindu religion. That's ludicrous. By the way, the term Anatman is used by Advaita Vedanta. There's not a single person on earth that thinks that Advaita Vedanta denies the soul, because of course it cannot. The light, Jyoti, and the only refuge, Atasrana, Nanasrana, of course, is the soul. Atavasrati, the soul is charioteer. The only word that is actually called permanent, or Nietzsche, in Sutta, of course, is the soul. The absence of a self or soul and Dukkha are the three constituent characteristics of existence. Well, existential existence, that would be true. The psychophysical is not the soul. There are 556 occurrences of the term Anatta. There's 23 different compounds of this word. I am the number one, not my egotistical feeling or belief. I am the number one person on this entire earth. Yes? I, I do mean that literally. Seriously. The number one person on this entire earth, on this one word, its occurrence, how it's used, where it's used. I know all occurrences of this word. Every one of them. Yeah? All of this stuff, now you think some, well, it's prestigious Encyclopedia Britannica, they must have some sort of substantiation for this ridiculous claim. No, they have none. This is just a bunch of ad hoc garbage that is found in this prestigious encyclopedia. But I don't care about these encyclopedia entries. It's literally all over the internet. This nonsense. And it came from one entity. It came from the Tarawadins. Those are those yellow robe guys in Ceylon, uh, Sri Lanka, Laos, Burma, Thailand. Yeah, those are Tetawadins, yeah? Those are not, uh, just like Catholics are not the original followers of the people that collected the sayings of Jesus. You know, Catholicism came much, much later. And let's be frank, and I'm using this as a parallel here, 95% of the stuff of the rites and rituals and practices and, and, you know, malarkey of Catholicism has nothing to do with original Christianity. Yeah, I mean, it's a fact. That's not my opinion. So the same is the case here. Three characteristics of existence, Anatta, Nietzsche, and Dukkha. 
Yeah. Well, there's no such thing as a doctrine of no soul. The term is never used as a standalone. It is only used in reference to other things. This is common Indian and Greek apophaticism, i.e. via negative. This is not the soul. That's not the soul. This isn't the soul. This isn't the soul either. Would you stupidly and unintelligently assume that if I said these things are not the soul? Well, he said there's no soul. It's like, no, he didn't say this. So the psychophysical. Rupa Veda Nasana Sankara Vinyana Anatati. Forms, feelings, perceptions, impulses, and existential consciousness are not the soul. That is in no way, no how, a denial of the soul. If there were no soul, as these people want unintelligent, dumb people to believe, then there would be no such need to say, this is not the soul, that's not the soul. No, you said, no, there's no soul. What about that? No, there's no soul. Don't ask about the soul, there's no soul. There's no such passage as that. <laughs> it is never used in a pejorative fashion except against phenomena. But that is in no way different than what the Vedas say, the Upanishads say, Advaita Vedanta says. There's no such thing as Hindu religion. That's not my feeling either. That I've had, I've said that before in countless videos, and Indians will come along like, oh my god, you're the first uh, American that understands that. There's no such thing as a Hindu religion. The Vedas, the Upanishads, Upadisa Deva Chodamuni, Advaita Vedanta, these are not, it's not Hinduism. This idea that permeates 99.9% .9 of the garbage on the internet about Buddhism has no doctrinal substantiation. It's fallacious, it's absurd, it's illogical, it's stupid, it's asinine. I know every occurrence of this word. It is never used in a pejorative fashion except against phenomena. Have the soul as your light, have the soul as your refuge with none other as refuge. Samyutinikaya 3.196, anada, anada, or anatman in Sanskrit. What does this mean, uh, Lord Gautama? Yeah? Just this, this is the exact passage from uh, Samyutinikaya 3.196. Rupa anata, veda anata, sankara anata, vinyana anata, nama rupa anatati. Which means the psychophysical is not the soul, forms, feelings, perceptions, all of these are not the soul. There is no such thing as a doctrine of no soul anywhere in any translation within the five Nikayas, the Diga Nikaya, Majima Nikaya, Angotara Nikaya, Kudaku Nikaya, Samyura Nikaya. It's not found. Just the opposite. This is common Indian via negativa. Apophaticism, yeah? The neti neti, not this, which means not this, not that. This is not the soul, that's not the soul, that's not the soul. Yep, that is apophatic methodology. Yet these are the prestigious things that people look. It's like, ah, I'm going to do some research. I'm going to go to Wikipedia. Wikipedia says the same garbage, by the way. Of course, Wikipedia is the most unreliable source for anything that if it requires intelligence to understand, you'll always get the wrong answer on Wikipedia. But what about Britannica? They must have consulted a bunch of prestigious scholars to make this entry. None of these things have any substantiation in doctrine. Like if I were to make a claim, and this is where Buddhism is like totally different than people that are debating Christianity. Someone says, blah, 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 about Christianity. And the other person who has a brain says, you know, that's interesting. You know, I've heard Catholicism say that stuff, but I can't find it in the Bible. It's not found there because Christianity doesn't specifically teach that. And there has to be a point of reference. If you're going to say Christianity teaches this or doesn't teach this, we have to have a point of reference. And in the point of reference, ain't the Pope? Yeah, it's like, well, the Pope said, it's like, that's nice. It's wonderful the Pope said that. But what does the Bible actually say? Because if we're going to say Christianity did or did not teach this, we have to have a point of reference. Yeah, this is common knowledge to someone with a half a brain, which I have a lot more than a half a brain. I tell you right now that, of course, I, once again, I cannot stand religion or politics. I want nothing to do with them because the dumbest, it's the LCD, the lowest common denominator, and involves the dumbest people on earth. The original article was metaphysics, you know? People think, oh, you know, it's Buddhism is something new and different. And there's no evidence for that at all, none. The people that have researched this the most have the exact same conclusions. It was no, it was just a neo-Vedantic forum of thought, because even in Gautama's time, circa 500 BCE, actually 550 plus, 2,500 years ago, even during then, uh, the 
teachings of the Upanishads, the principal ones, which predated him, and the Vedas had already been, become wholly corrupted, a bunch of rites and rituals and practices, garbage, religion, malarkey, you know, just rituals and ceremony, garbage that is not directly conducive to wisdom and liberation. This idea that Anatta is somehow, uh, you know, this ridiculous basic Buddhist doctrine, this term Anatta means non-existence of the soul. But there's no such passage. And on top of the fact that there's no such passage, there's no logic behind it. You can't have liberation without a liberant. It's completely ludicrous. I mean, and, and that question has been asked to those yellow robe guys in Southeast Asia before. How could you have liberation without a liberant? You know, someone with like five brain cells. How does that work? Well, liberation, and this is exactly what they say, not me. Well, it's like you're blowing out a candle. <laughs> kind of like a fart in the wind. It just vanishes into oblivion. And this is called, it has a term called metaphysical nihilism. It's like the ultimate is just like blowing away like a fart in the wind, like you blew out a candle. <sighs> Liberation. <laughs> By the way, the noose, sort of the speed of the sanctum, in Pali the word is chitta. The only noun that is freed of the psychophysical in doctrine is the chitta. I have a 16, a 17 point proprietary list of the chitta. This is actually how you uh, completely dominate anybody in a debate on Buddhism on this specific topic. Let's say, what is the one noun in doctrine that is liberated and freed from the psychophysical, i.e., Rupa Veda Masana Sakarana? Well, there isn't one. It's like, yeah, there is. And here's the passage in verse. Boom, 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 boom. What is the one noun in doctrine that obtains Amatya Dhatya, which means the realm of immortality? Well, immortality, when you use this word, you are, without even talking about the soul, you are talking about the soul, because when you can't have immortality, that's impossible. Everything is impermanent. It's just like a, a temporal fart in the dust of samsara. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there is. Chitta obtains the realm. Suvi muta chitta nabandam, which means nirvana is the thoroughly liberated chitta. Yeah? Bhavani roda nabandam, the subjugation of becoming means nirvana. Anyway, the uh, subject which attains to, this is the noose, by the way, or the spirita sancta, the Pali water, this chitta. I know you didn't necessarily need to know that word. By the way, chit is the exact same word in ancient Egyptian as it is in Pali. The same word for the aten or the soul is the exact same word, exact same pronunciation in ancient Egyptian. Interestingly enough, the ten most important words in ancient Pali are the exact same ten words in ancient Egyptian. Isn't it neat how that works? Even King Ptolemy II of ancient Egypt was mentioned on a rock edict of uh, King Ashok, which was uh, written down and carved on stones and pillar edicts uh, 2,300 plus years ago. Yeah. This is long before all those other guys came along, the Terawadins, the Mahayana, so on and so forth. All of these, these are the lying liars that lie. They have nothing intelligent to say. When they do say it, you know, Encyclopedia Britannica, this is all over the internet. I'm just using these few examples. This is unintelligent rubbish. There's no logic behind it. There's no citation behind it. It is ridiculous twaddle, poppycock nonsense. It's garbage. When I actually say about this one topic, there's nobody on this earth that knows more about it, I mean that 1,000%. I'll debate anybody on that topic. Anybody and everybody. And I have over the decades. But this pervasive trash is all over the internet. You know? It's trash. There's nothing behind it. It's, it's a lie. It's rubbish. This is the reason, one of many millions of reasons, almost literally, I have no interest in religion. Religion is the enemy of metaphysics. Religion is secularized metaphysics. What is religion? <clears throat> you know, like a, a, a man or a woman drives a car, you know, a real car with a real steering wheel. Religion, you ever seen those little Fisher Price things they make for kids that sit in the passenger seats, little plastic steering wheel, and the kid pretends he's driving the car even though he's not? That's what religion is. It's just this super inferior, irrelevant copy of something that's profound and important. So. But all of this stuff is lies and trash. It's just lies and trash. They don't care, you know. If I were running Encyclopedia Britannica, it's like, you know, we, this is Encyclopedia Britannica. Nobody 
buys dictionaries or encyclopedias anymore. Nobody does. Everybody uses the internet. It's like, what does the word anata mean? It's supposed to be one of the key tenets. Like, no, it's not. It's not. There are 23 things that are called anata. They're all foul, evil. Um, it's also too called maradama, which means the uh, the doctrine of, uh, of of the evil. Mara is basically the Pali word for uh, for uh, Satan. So you're saying one of the key principal teachings of Buddhism is about that which is foul and evil, and you know it's just completely ludicrous. That's materialism. It's specifically metaphysical uh, nihilism is what it is. It's oblivionism. Ah, liberation is just blowing out like a fart in the wind. Whew! It just vanishes. Just no more. Period. No such passage exists. There's no, there's nothing even intelligent behind it. We don't even have to talk about doctrine, book and verse citation, which is incredibly important because to discuss something means we have to have a point of reference. Like if two Christians are talking about what Christianity did or didn't teach, they have to have a point of reference. Like, what does the Bible say? You know, we disagree with each other. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in the Bible that says the garbage you just told me. Therefore, I must reject it. Because if it can't be found in any way, shape, or form, or even hinted at in the Bible, or New Testament specifically, or even the Old Testament, then we have to reject it. These are just like the blatherings and lip flapping of yourself, rather than what Christianity teaches. And that, of course, would be true. The same applies to anything that anybody says. Well, Buddhism says there's no soul. Oh, really? Well, that's n interesting to hear. As a 24-plus year translator of ancient Pali and the world's foremost expert on that topic, let's have a debate on that because there's nothing that backs you up. There's not even any logic that backs you up. There's certainly no book and verse that backs you up. It says right here, forms, feelings, perceptions, impulses, consciousness are not the soul. Anada, yeah, there is only that which is not the soul. Yeah. That's I call the fallacy of composition. If I said this is not the soul and that's not the soul, then therefore there's no soul. It's like, well, that's extremely stupid. There's no palm trees or coconut trees up in Alaska. Therefore, coconut trees don't exist. There's Eskimos and polar bears and pine trees in Alaska but no coconut trees. Therefore, coconut trees don't exist. Well, that's pretty stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Nobody uses their brain anymore, apparently. It's like the few of us left on this earth that actually have a brain and know how to use it, you know, don't create fallacies of composition. There are like few and far between. I think that essentially means that the world is doomed, by the way. But uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it funny. I love it when I'm, because to me this video is funny and so easy to make, and yet people will leave a comment like, you're so angry! It's like, I'm not angry at all. I mean, I'm laughing my butt off inside. Um, the stupidity eventually gets annoying, but I just, you just completely ignore it. It's like I've heard that flavor of stupidity for decades. It has always failed. Nobody can debate it successfully. If you can't debate something easily and successfully, you're either wrong and or Dumb. The stupids. <laughs> anyway, this is a video on Anatta and Anatman. Yeah, it ain't what you were told that it was. And you were told it by less than intelligent people. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Mic drop.